Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to get a better understanding of Flex Grow and Flex Shrink. All right, so I've got a web page set up and I've got several boxes just so we can get a feel for what's going on. Just kind of notice my HTML here. You can ignore the IDs that I've got. That's just for a little bit of a JavaScript. But basically, I've got a div container and each of those divs contains three of their own divs, which is important when you're using Flexbox for any kind of layout. So let's look at some of the CIS that I have up here. And you'll see that my flex containers, my flex container one and flex container two, so far don't really have much. They have a margin on there. And by default, block elements, divs, are doing what block elements do. They um, are one on top of the other, and they would be as wide as they could be if I hadn't already set their widths to 200 and 200. You'll notice I'm displaying the actual widths of these blocks, and it's showing 180 instead of 200. That's simply because the borders that I've got here are 10 pixels thick. So 10 pixels on the left, 10 pixels on the right, plus the 180 interior width. That is getting me my 200 width. Now what I want to do is get these blocks side by side, and I'm going to control that with my flex containers. So there's certain declarations that go into the flex container, and there's others that go into the flex children. So what I'm going to do in the flex containers are display flex. That one's probably the most critical. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, justify content, and I'll do the space between option. There we go, so that'll take care of that. And I want to ensure that these are also rows, so I will do um, flex direction row. Now just putting in those few things is going to have a pretty big impact on my uh, div boxes here. Go ahead and refresh the page, and now they are certainly in a row orientation. Cool. Now I want to start to experiment with the children, and you notice I've highlighted two of them a separate color, because these are the two that I want to emphasize the most. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit in my CSS, and you'll see that I've got rules already for the three children in my flex container one and the three children in my flex container two. Now, what I am going to do in, for instance, in flex container one, is I'm going to put in flex grow of one. Okay. Now the default for this is zero, but at zero the boxes just stay at their normal widths. Now if I put this flex grow one into all three of these children, check out the result, and we're looking at our first row when I refresh. Notice that these boxes fill up to expand and take up the space. Now the numbers didn't quite work out because I've also got a little bit of margin on here, but they're pretty close to equal. 315 pixels each, and of course this one is 314, but close enough that you wouldn't really notice. And as this browser gets wider, all of these boxes get wider. And where possible, they will all be the exact same width. So putting a flex grow one on all of the children within a flex container is pretty nice, especially if your goal is to have those child boxes fill up all the available space. But I want to do something a little bit different to child number two. So instead of doing a flex grow one, I'm going to put a flex grow three. Now what that is doing, when I refresh, you'll notice that my box number two is a little bit wider. And you can see with the measurements, 233, number three is 233, but now the bigger number two is 338 pixels. What the flex grow at that higher value means is as my browser window gets wider, the flex grow three box is gonna grow three times faster than the other boxes that are simply at flex grow one. So don't assume that just means it's gonna be three times bigger, it's just gonna go th grow three times faster. So as my browser window gets wider, clearly box number two is noticeably bigger than boxes one and three. Okay, now using that same concept, we can start to experiment a little bit with flex shrink. And I'm gonna play around with that in my flex container two area. I will go ahead and put in a flex grow of one for each of these. And of course, we should be able to expect that all three of these boxes will expand and fill up the space and they'll all be equal if they can be. Okay, that's pretty good. 
But now let me go to box number four, which is the first box within my flex container two. And I'm gonna put a flex shrink of three. Now, you may not notice much of a difference when I go and refresh. Nope, nothing really noticeable, noticeable happened. But if this browser were a little bit smaller, you're gonna start to see pretty soon, once we get narrow enough, that box number four is gonna be shrinking, in this case, three times faster than the other children within that same flex container. Now, of course, this didn't start to happen because my boxes are pretty small anyway, so it didn't get to a point to where they any of them needed to shrink. So we'll notice the flex shrink when our window gets very narrow, and we'll notice, of course, the flex grow when the window starts to get quite a bit bigger. Now, while the default for flex grow is a zero, the default for flex shrink is a one, and that doesn't really mean too much, just so that you know that you don't have to go through and put in a flex shrink of one for the other comparative child elements. Instead, I can just put in flex shrink of three for one of these particular child elements. So, the good thing about this is you get to decide how you want to apply it on your web pages. But now that you've seen a little bit about Flex Grow and Flex Shrink, you can start to experiment a bit more with how you want to use this, especially if you imagine you've got a multi-column layout and you wanted a main central column or side column to grow faster than the surrounding columns. Now, if we were using some flex basis, we could also have a little bit more control over these. I'm not using flex basis in this video, but there's a pretty good application for that.